In the air and taken! Starkey's 200th ODI wicket, which is an absolutely outstanding achievement. Mitchell Stark, obviously a disappointing result today, but congratulations on uh, 200 ODI wickets. Yeah, thanks. Not our, not our best day. Um, gave ourselves a chance with the ball. Joshy was fantastic again today. Um, I'm really proud of him to get his 100th as well. Um, sort of started, started around the same time, so a nice little moment for us to get both the milestones today and, and uh, we can <laughs> move on from there now. <laughs> so just on that 200, there are a lot of great names on that list, Brett Lee, Alan Donald. I mean, were these guys you looked up to growing up? Yeah, well, funnily enough, I was a wicketkeeper growing up, so um, it's probably a little bit later on that I started paying attention, but... Um, yeah, look, uh, I mean, it'll be something I look back on and, and um, look, I'm, I'm proud of that. But, um, yeah, I, not our best result today, so um, a little bit bittersweet. Um, but at the same time, glad we can stop talking about it and, and move on with some, some cricket now. <laughs> and just on your great mate, Josh Hazelwood, he got his 100th, as you said. Tell us about his performance today. Again, he was really good. He was, he was great for us today. He gave, us, he, was, he gave us a great chance with the ball. Um, everything that Josh Hazelwood does, he was relentless with his line and length. Um, rewarded today. I think he's been fantastic through through the series without any luck. So today it was good to see him get some rewards there. He's just a relentless length. Uh, his line's impeccable, um, and that's what he does in all three formats, which is why he's such a weapon for, for Australia. Tell us about the pitch, because it looked obviously really tough for batting. Was it doing a lot? What was happening out there? Yeah, well, we've obviously seen through the series that um, winning the toss, the, the, the side want to bowl first. Um, obviously, the earlier starts here, it's been a little bit in the wicket. Uh, they tried, well, they have kept up the same wicket for three games, so it was, it was always going to be a little bit in it in the morning, um, and then slowly get slightly better um, through the day. And, and there's still there's still enough in it, uh, as we saw with the ball today. But um, yeah, I think a, a tricky wicket all round, a little bit slow and, and tennis ball like with a bounce. Uh, but now we move on to Cairns and, and see what that wicket's like. It's, it's one that I think from our group only Manus has played on, so um, that'll be interesting as well. And so David Warner was the one who made it look easy out there. Um, what was he doing that just worked for him, I suppose? Using all that experience, I guess. Um, at times it looked like he was playing on a different wicket, didn't it? So, um, yeah, fantastic knock from Davey. Obviously, it was a, the main reason we got to, to 141 or whatever it was. So, um, yeah, shame he couldn't quite get uh, the three figures. I think he was batting superbly and, and just sort of was able to find that middle ground of being attacking, biding his time to good balls and, and look, a fantastic knock of 90 odd. Um, but that's Davey Warner. He's done it for, for over a decade as well. So, it's great to see. I mean, these close losses, can you sort of view it as like a learning experience for the two tournaments that are coming up? Yeah, um, I mean, disappointing today, but um, I think we probably look more into the first two games and how we built from one to two. Obviously not our best performance game three. Um, some good things to take out of it. I think Cameron Green's been fantastic with the ball throughout. Um, obviously Davey today. Um, Joshy and, and Adam Zampa through the, through the series as well. Um, so there's some positives to take there. Obviously we, we back up with an, another series in, in a couple of days' time, so um, not too much to think about from here. Let's, let's move on to the next game and, and get ready for, for a New Zealand team that are, are at full strength and ready to go.